All right, fam, I heard Arby's is getting a little freaky deaky. And I need to see what the freaky deakiness is all about. So let's go ahead and pull up. I think they have a big game burger, y'all. That venison elk blended chopped up combination. Oh, man. What's a Jamocha shake? I'm going to get that too. Oh, shoot. Hi, welcome to Arby's. How can we help you? Yeah, I want to try your uh, big game burger. Do you want that as a meal? Uh, yes, please. And curly fries or crinkle? Curly fries. And what kind of drink would you like? I'll take a Sprite with that. You can make a large. Go large. Okay. Can we get you anything else? Yeah, I want to try your uh, Jamocha shake. I'm sorry. Our machine is down right now. It's not freezing properly. Oh, that sucks. All right. Then that, <laughs> that's about it then. All right, thanks. Damn, y'all, we can't even get the Jamocha shake. Machine is down. What's this, McDonald's? <laughs> YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with another Super, super Official. Photo of you, kid, nigga, baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. All right, family, let's go ahead and get right into the recipe of things. Now, this big game burger meal came out to $14.39. And that's the big game burger, the large drink, the large curly fries. With a dollar six on the tax, fifteen forty-five for this whole entire meal. And as we know, no meal is complete without the ghetto nap. <laughs> the ghetto nap. Y'all been weighing. Ooh, the ghetto nap. Ooh, rocking to the beat. Boom, 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 boom. The ghetto nap. <laughs> the ghetto nap. Big game meal. The ghetto nap, oh, rocking to the beat. Boom, 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 hit me off. All right, family, let's go ahead and get right into it. Arby's. Arby's is always known for going outside the box when they really want to. And just real quick, fam, just real quick, if you don't mind, uh, it's only going to take a second of your time, but if you are not buying it up, let me know in the comment section below. Say, Dame, we are not buying it up. However you want to put it, let me know you're not buying it up out there, man. And then lock it in with a thumbs up. Don't ever play yourself. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. It's curly fry time, family. And these curly fries, they, they hitting whatever which way they want to hit. But I'm trying to tell you right now. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. Now, this batch got a little extra oil up off of them things. I'm getting some greasy love on there. They're crispy. And they have a nice flavor, but the after kick of grease is definitely up there, kind of heavy. They left these things up off in the fryer just a little bit. But Arby's, Arby's curly fries, I like them better than the crinkle cut fries. I just like curly fries in general. They're a win. These joints right here are still four out the door. Don't ever play yourself. All right, let's put these over here. Let these things mind their business because I'm really not here for the fries and neither are you. You don't even care. Hold up. Oh, my. Oh, my. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey. Uh. Wait a minute. Boom. Oh, that's that Swiss cheese. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, big game burger. That big game burger hit a little different. That soft bun action is crazy, but what we wanna do is really just drop the top on the convertible box just to see the guts on this big game burger. We definitely have the brioche bun up off in here. Oh man, drop that top if you can. I know that Swiss cheese is holding on for dear life, but we're looking at cherry steak sauce for some real sweet flavoring. Again, that Swiss cheese, the big eye Swiss, crispy onion strings, pickles, Venice elk burger. This thing got so much happening, family. I want to get into this bite right here because I really want this burger to be elevated in taste. But what do you think it's going to be hitting on? Do you think it's going to be delicious or is it something that you don't mess with because you're not trying to mess with Bambi like that? Let me know in the comments. That old venison elk meat is right there. About as big as the elk itself. Y'all ain't playing no games, Arby's.
Hmm. This burger tastes like dark matter. It's a science burger. Good. It's messy. Now, this burger falls very close to sweet and savory. The bun, the brioche bun, nice little soft bite. You don't get much crisp from the onions, but you do get that nice flavor that the onions do give off for being fried up. All right, just said you just don't get a lot of crispiness to it. You get more crisp from that pickle laying low at the bottom. That cherry steak sauce is where the sweetness and that savory actually do kick in. And as far as this venison itself, it's thick, it's soft, it got a decent chew to it. All right, this right here isn't full venison, it's not full venison elk style. So you're not going to get like a, a gamey burger beef pull on that whatsoever. And it does have a very different type of flavor to it. And it's not despicable, right? It's just, it's that you, you definitely know you're not eating any type of regular beef when you take a bite out of this one. You're like, oh, what is that? I can't quite put my finger on it. But it has enough flavors that are combining in with the Swiss itself where it's actually a decent bite. I'd mess around and give it a three and a half as far as that old venison bite right there. Not bad at all, Arby's. Like I said, I like how they step outside the box just to try something a little bit different. This is a short one today, fam, because I don't have the Jamocha shake to go ahead and break down, unfortunately, because the machine was down. Arby's, your big game burger. It It's different. It's definitely different. I like how the flavors are kind of working. That was the first time I had cherry uh, steak sauce. Again, it's very deep rooted. Um, it got a lot of bark on that sweetness. It's, it's it's far left. So expectations are going to take you there. You're like, what is this? Like, mm, it's it's all right. It's not horrible. It's just, it's just all right. Dame, would you order it again? Probably not. I ain't gonna say a lot of you. I probably won't order again. It's kind of far outside of my wheelhouse, but I do like to try things that are new. And I do believe that Arby's is knocking on the door of trying something that they've done before. But just kind of really up-leveling their venison and saying, hey, we don't mind trying something different. What do you think at the end of the day? So a decent job, Arby's. Not bad at all. Coming from your main man, Dame Drops. So uh, get ready. We're about to do a video switch this week. I'll be bringing back what you guys have been waiting for. Season 7 of the best and worst reviewed restaurants will be coming soon. All right? Y'all keep it crispy. I'm going to holla at you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.